from Lanark Corner to Lennoxon Addington. Thank you, Speaker. The speaker to the Premier. Premier, my family's story is no different than thousands of other families here in Ontario. We are a family of smokers. It has been generational. My parents smoked, my brothers and sisters smoked, my children smoke. This addiction is not just generational, it's also cultural. And like most smokers, we've tried gums and patches, and they seldom work. But since I've started using a vaporizer, I've cut back significantly. So has my family. It's meant that we can spend more time with our grandsons. It's meant that for the first time in generations, we might end this trend. It means my grandsons may not grow up in a family of smokers. Premier, your government is making a tragic mistake. Will you please reconsider and spend more time investigating vaporizers before you rush to a decision that will prevent people Question. like myself and my family and thousands of others from quitting tobacco once and for all with Schedule 3 Thank you. Bill 45? Thank you, Speaker. I thank the member opposite for his question, but I really hope he's read Bill 45. I know he sat on the committee, and if he fully understood the bill, he would know that we're not banning electronic cigarettes. All we're doing is we're regulating electronic cigarettes to make sure that we balance the potential benefits, which we recognize, against the potential risks. But it continues to be perfectly legal for adults. And I'm sure the member opposite agrees that we shouldn't have 16-year-olds being able to buy uh, an e cigarette or be able to smoke inside a classroom and that is what we are doing all we are doing is regulating but there's nothing in the regulation that stops a potential smoker from choosing to use an electronic cigarette if that's what they want to do here, here. thank you mr speaker thank you supplementary speaker i have read the i have read the bill and i did attend the committee at hearings all premier there are only two groups that benefit from you passing schedule 3 Order, please. Thank you. Please put your question. Premier, there is only two groups that benefit from passing Schedule 3 of Bill 45, and it's not children or the general public. Two of the most vocal opponents and the two groups set to gain the most from this bill are Big Tobacco and Big Pharma. By demonizing vaporizers, you are helping tobacco companies regain a market share that has been devastated by vaporizers. You're also allowing pharmaceutical co companies to continue to market cessation products over the counter that are proven less than effective than vaporizers. Premier, how can it be that myself and others who are addicted to cigarettes are fighting big tobacco while you Question. and your government are actively protecting and defending big tobacco? Thank you. Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I believe this government's commitment to anti-smoking is the gold standard. So I don't know where he's coming from when you say that we're supporting big tobacco. On the issue of Schedule 3, on the issue of electronic cigarettes, as you, if you've read Bill 45 clearly, the way we have drafted Bill 45 is to make it very flexible. Should it ever come to pass that Health Canada says that e-cigarettes are a legitimate cessation device, we have regulations in place that would actually allow us to very quickly change regulations and ensure that it, it's a uh, treated exactly the same as any other cessation device. In the interim, while we await better evidence, all we are doing is regulating electronic cigarettes. You can continue to use it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.